Welcome back. So we pick up where we left from the last tutorial. We're gonna delete the sphere. X to delete. We're gonna delete the light as well. Now let's go to VFX motion tracking. Clean up the space. Open. I have a free stock video. Open clip. I know it's quite long. Sets in frames, prefetch, and to close that little window, it looks quite long. I'm gonna make it as 300 frames only. It works. Keyframe, previous frame, normalize, got the first frame, detect features, chart forward. And now detect features again, track backwards. Lovely. Solve, press A to select all, solve camera motion. We've got an error of 2.56. Let's clean up a little bit, error of 1.5. Uh, delete chucks, clean chucks, and now solve camera motion again. 0.61, perfect. Split screen, let's go here on the 3D viewport, set scene frames, set up tracking scene, zero. If we go to the render view here, we can see what's happening. Actually, we cannot see what's happening because we need to go to uh, render and on the film check transparent and then on the color management uh, from filmic to standard now let's clean up the scene ag uh, again let's delete the light let's delete the ground the background uh, let's find three dots and let's make it a floor bam it went crazy select all this, this and this floor that's better let's try this make it an origin it looks like it's floating let's make this one the origin let's put this one x-axis let's go to the layout zero to go to camera view render view and now we can play with it a little bit uh, first off press on the cube control A all transforms and then on the second cube control A all transforms and now press shift and press the big cube control P the parent object and now if we move the big uh, the big cube is gonna move the other one with it as well let's make it slightly bigger but we need to press the big cube object set origin origin to geometry so the origin is there what's going on my computer went crazy. Ah. I scale up a little bit and maybe press G, Z, bring it down, something like that. G, Y. This is how we integrate the Loki portal into a tracking scene. Now, as a last uh, touch gonna press F12 here we have the Loki portal into a uh, background thingy now let's go to compositing and to close that window clean up the space a little bit let's move this a little bit over there now if you press shift and right right click you can make a you can unite this let's press shift a search glare glad note let's just put it in here 
we're gonna make from Strix to Fog Foglow. Give some extra details. And now as a final render. So this is the one with with glare on it. I think if we go on the shading, this red is way too red. So if we play with it a little bit, this red is way too red. And if we go here, we can make it strength up, maybe 15. Pam pam. Let's try again. Here is the uh, image. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, you learned something today. See you next time.